Hi, this is John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Today I'm going back to another question from the mailbag, and this one comes from Jancel Conroy. Jancel asks me, in what ways, what are the biggest ways in which I've changed the protocol of heavy duty by Mike Menser? It's a system of training that Mike Menser created. For those of you who don't know, I was a student of his and he was one of the greatest influences on my own training of myself as well as what I teach to clients. Now, there's two parts to this because when I read this question, it really put the brakes on. This week I didn't intend on doing a video like this, but it put the brakes on me to where I did not answer it online and I'm, I decided to do a video instead. So I'm shooting this video as an answer to that question and there's actually two parts to this question, the part he didn't ask. So I always give a little bit extra. I'm going to get around to answering Jancel's question directly on the second part of this video. On the first part, I'm going to address a question that's been posed to me before, which is why don't I speak more directly and more often on heavy duty training, Mike Menser, my relationship with him and, and also how I train people using those techniques. And the truth of the matter is, is when Mike passed away, and you can look up his history as well, when Mike passed away in 2001, uh, there were several people who he had worked with in the past who sort of rode his coattails after he had passed and did so in an effort to, uh, to make money, did so in an effort to increase their own business, did so in an effort to increase themselves and their reputations. Uh, it reminds me a lot of... Bruce Lee and his students, right? Bruce Lee, when he passed, it seems like when Bruce Lee died from that day to today, we have, it seems, in America at least, every single uh, martial arts studio, every one of them, seems to have an instructor who claims they were trained by Bruce Lee. Now, we know that can't be the case. We know that's not true. However, they seem to want to ride his coattails as teachers. It gives them a little bit more clout. And there were a lot of people doing that, using Mike Menser's name, using Heavy Duty, and also claiming that they had adjusted it a certain way or made it better than the way that Mike had made it. Now myself, I was involved with my own personal training business. I trained a lot of people around 2001 in the gym exclusively, and I didn't have time to get all caught up in anybody else's stuff. So when Mike passed, it was sad, but I basically dug myself a hole in the gym and trained clients nonstop for the next decade. And during that time period, near the end of that decade, Joanne Sharkey, who is the successor and heir to all things heavy duty and all things Mike Menser, uh, and you can find her at MikeMenser.com. I'll put the link up on the, uh, in the description of this video. Uh, but Joanne contacted me and asked me to work for her uh, and handle the online consultations for MikeMenser.com. And she did so only because I'm so well-versed. I know the system so well, and I can teach it very well. So I took on that job. And besides all of that, I love Joanne. I wanted to help her out. So I've helped ever since. However, even having said that, when people hire me specifically, or go through MikeMenser.com and expect a heavy-duty consultation. I'm teaching Mike's system specifically for them, and that's what I do. On the other hand, if they come to me separately and you know go through my website for a consultation with me, then I'm not necessarily sticking to just the, the parameters of heavy-duty protocol. And in that scenario, I do have the freedom to go ahead and teach what John Hart would teach as a trainer. And so I do that. There's the difference. Okay. So I, as a competitive athlete, uh, I did my own competing in the natural bodybuilding realm and won the natural versions of what Mike Menser had won. And so we have a lot of similarities in that regard as far as titles. But... Past that point, uh, I've been a teacher and a trainer for you know, most of the last 37 years, and I do what I do. That's the bottom line right there. 
so I don't necessarily feel the need, even to this day, to go ahead, and it, it just doesn't feel right to me to ride the coattails repeatedly, to use Mike's name repeatedly, to get involved with you know, uh, any business dealings saying, hey, I was his student, like that. So while I have shot a video on it, you can find it. I'll put the link for that video down at the bottom of this video's description on my own channel, honoring the man. I honor, you know, Mike Menser, the man, uh, when he was on the planet. And I still, to this day, honor Heavy Duty and Joanne Sharkey over at MikeMenser.com. Uh, I love her, and as I said, great, great friend of mine. And I love working with her. However, here I am shooting my own videos, and here I am, you know, training my own clients and doing online consultations as well. So, to answer that first part of the question, that's why I don't, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, create heavy duty turbo. I'm not trying to, you know, carry the torch into the new millennium or anything like that, you know, with regards to Mike. What Mike did was what he did. Heavy duty is heavy duty. And I think it's a great training system. So there's that. Now to answer Jansel's question more directly, what's the biggest changes that I've made? to the protocol of heavy duty by Mike Menser. Well, the truth is, if you're going to be technical, I did not change Mike Menser's heavy duty training system at all. If I'm teaching his heavy duty training system, I think it's just fine. I think it's excellent. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic for what it is and for what it does. And it works. So there's that. However, if you're talking about what I would do differently personally or even what I teach clients, that may be different from it. Again, I've written two books on it. I've written the Mr. America Shape Up series and I've written Physique 101. And both of those books go into the details of how I would train people a little bit different. Uh, a little bit different, really it's pretty minor. Uh, the, the type of training that I do on everybody is still of a higher intensity nature, but Having more experience now over a few more decades of training people, it's gotten to the point where I take into consideration just the population as an individual who I'm training at the moment and their needs. And I may adjust things accordingly for their workouts in particular. So it's a custom workout for them. Uh, the protocol itself that Mike taught, uh, I'm not critical of it in any way. Uh, the principles behind it, I use all of those principles in my own training because those principles are all valid. There's none that he described that are invalid. So when you talk about the protocol itself, it's fantastic. And that's it pretty much. And then when it comes to me making any changes in my own personal training for myself, well over the years, yeah, I've adjusted things based on my training, my stage of training in my career. And then also as I'm getting older, I'm no longer in my thirties. I'm now in my fifties. So I have adjusted the training accordingly. It just so happens that I've adjusted the training along the same lines and principles that Mike always taught. So he taught, that you have to respect your recovery ability. So as my recovery ability has changed, I've respected it even more. So my workouts have changed accordingly. So it might mean at times I take more rest between workouts. It might mean at times I do less within a given workout itself than I ever did before. But that's just respecting my own stage in life right now, using the same principles that I always used, that I was taught through Mike and Heavy Duty. So there's really no changes that I've done to the training except apply the same principles and I've just tried to use my intelligence to you know, respect my body and where it's at using principles that make sense to me. The principles, the seven principles that Mike Menser mentions in the high intensity training the Mike Menser way. Read those principles, apply them to your own training. They're valid and they work. And that's it. <laughs> From my heart to you, John Hart, thanks for stopping by today. 
I look forward to seeing you again. Hey, do you want John to be your personal trainer? Get your training and diet managed online by Mr. America himself. Go to MrAmericaHeart.com. It's in the link right here below in the video's description.